Hello, and welcome to a brief presentation on the various matching techniques available in Interport. Matching is extremely important for CRM systems because it's crucial that we be able to identify the correct contact or account to update or to decide whether we have duplicates coming in and prevent the creation of duplicates. Interport provides a range of matching techniques. We'll provide you a very brief summary now. First technique we have available is standard matching. When we select standard matching, we get a tab that enables us to build an expression on the source record and on the target record. When we build the expression on the source record, we can select from any field or combination of fields and we can also apply the full power of the interport expression editor to building the expression. The expression that you can see here uses a normalized value of the company name and appends the zip code. The norm come function strips off noise words like Inc, Incorporated, LLC, Limited, SARL, GmbH, etc. And also removes punctuation, lower cases everything and trims white space. So it's a good way to normalize a company name for matching purposes. We can also build an equivalent expression on the target side. So here we're normalizing the account name out of the Microsoft CRM system that we're importing into and we're appending the zip code. Notice on the left-hand side of the expression editor, we have all of the fields available in the account table, enabling us to build an expression on any of the fields. At runtime, Interport will read all of the data from the account table, apply this expression, and build an in-memory index on that account table. When a source record comes in, the source expression gets applied to it, and then it gets matched against that in-memory index. At the end of the day, while we have normalization capabilities available to us, it is an exact match. The second option that we have available to us is fuzzy matching. Fuzzy matching enables us to do string similarity scoring. There's an example tester available in our tools menu that lets you build a sample of the data that you're working with and then score that data. For example, here we can see that we've got John Smith and when matching against Johnny Smith, we get a 95% score. John Smythe, we get a 98% score. As with standard matching, we can build an expression that uses any field or combination of fields and we can apply the full power of the interport expression editor against that. And we do the same on the target side as well. We then establish boundaries. We say if it's less than, for example, 88 or 87 or 86%, then it's not a match. If it's between 86% and 96% or 95%, it's a possible match. And if it's above a 95%, we declare that it's a good match. Fuzzy matching requires the ability to have user review to assist in important deciding which record is actually the correct match. You have a range of review options available to you, including no, re no user review at all once you've established that your matching boundaries and matching criteria are good. Both of these options, both the standard matching and the fuzzy matching, build in-memory indexes. The third option we have available is SQL matching, and SQL matching lets us apply a SQL select statement against the target table or against any other table in the system. The only requirement on the SQL statement is that it return the primary key for the table that we're interested in. So we are able to join tables together or able to query completely different tables to return a particular value. The advantage of the SQL matching approach is it does not build an in-memory index, so there's no upfront cost associated with it. The disadvantage is that for each source record coming in, we're executing a SQL select statement against the target database. The details of this are discussed in the PowerPoint presentations that accompany this video, and there are other videos with more information on matching techniques. Please feel free to browse our website or contact Interplex if you have any questions. Thank you for your time.